I'm Matt Evers, a professional skater and lover of winter sports. Now the highlight for anyone passionate about winter sports has to be the Winter Olympics. It is a 17-day, action-packed, adrenaline-fueled competition. But you don't have to be an Olympic hopeful to get a taste for the ice and snow. Now I'm headed to Patinoir Olympique in the Savoie Mont Blanc region of France, which is home to a winter sport that is not for the faint-hearted. With vulcanized rubber flying to the air at 120 miles per hour to razor sharp blades and legal punching, most people prefer to watch ice hockey than to take part. This rink built for the 92 Albertville Olympics is actually in the ski resort of Maribel. Now it's home to hockey club Val Vanoise. The first official rules for ice hockey were written in Montreal in 1873, and it's been Canada's most popular sport ever since. But it was actually here in France where the International Ice Hockey Federation was formed in 1908. First things first, this is not a sport you can just strap on the skates and go. All of this has to go on first. All right, well, let's start with the skates. As you can see, the figure skate is a lot different to the hockey skate. The hockey skate does not have a toe pick, and the boot itself is a lot more rigid. All right, let's get kitted up and go. I had no idea how much prep went into just getting on the ice. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to stand, let alone skate. All right, let's see how this goes. Oh my God. Well, I'm used to my figure skates, and it feels like somebody shaved my toe picks off. Lord, have mercy on my soul. And I hope the pro will have mercy on me, too. You must be Quentin. Yeah, nice how to meet you. How are you? I'm Matt. Nice to meet you. Fine. Now, I've been told that you are going to teach me how to do the perfect slap shot. Yeah, yeah exactly. For the slap shot, you have to put the, the puck between your two legs, like this. OK. You take a stick like this, one, one hand here on the top, yeah. one in the middle, and hit there, just before the puck. A slap shot is the hardest shot you can learn and sends the puck flying at high speeds. The pros knock it about at over 100 miles per hour. You need real control to perform this on ice and I'm really missing my toe picks. Okay, 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 you thought that was me out there, right? Well, I'll take that as a compliment. But it's time to watch the experts play. Red and blue lines divide the rink into zones that help the referee judge a play. To win the game, it's simple. Score the most goals by whacking the puck into the net. Well, that's the theory. In reality, it's far more brutal. Add to that, it's the fastest team game in the Olympics, and you start to appreciate how demanding this game is. Here in 92, something happened that only a Hollywood movie director could dream of. A unified team made up of six of the former Soviet states got together and competed under the Olympic flag and snatched gold from the favorite Canada in a surprising and thrilling final. Well, I know I was fairly rubbish, but after having a go today, I think I've caught the bug for hockey. It's no wonder why there's over 1.6 million players worldwide in this Olympic sport. 